Do you get tired of engraving? Getting hurt all the time? Your back is killing you? Introducing the Gradle 5203X. It runs like shit. So I've seen this uh, mod uh, on YouTube, obviously, uh, that you can take any old compressor, like like this wow. airbrush compressor, and modify it in such a way to work with these uh, import engraver hand pieces, these are relatively cheap. The modification is just to remove the valves inside this uh, piston system and allows the piston to push and pull air all the time to make the graver resonate and do its hammering. Now it seems that this compressor is either too weak, uh, which is quite possible as it doesn't feel very strong, uh, or this method is just mesh. There is a different engraving system that was patented by Steve Lindsay, which avoids all these shenanigans and basically can function on just a constant airflow from the compressor. So what makes the Lindsay engraving system so special is that it functions quite similarly to a steam engine where the piston has some holes inside that manipulates the air to push it forward. Once it reaches a certain distance, it needs to go back because the air cannot go anywhere. Anyway, it's very, very clever design and I'm looking forward to try to replicate this. Okay, I think that should be it. Okay, now it's probably not a good idea to do it now, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, there we go. And that's how the cookie crumbles! So you may notice a new tool in the Schopel Lish. Look at the glorious uh, kind of makeshift milling machine. All the parts here are completely from other stuff. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna use it today.
Shall we? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's do it this way. <gasps> hey, I'm stupid. Come on, please. Oh my God. Good. So the, these type of hand pieces come with these, let's call them collets. So I think I'm going to try to make it uh, work with these collets right here. But I'm not sure it's a good idea. And then I can adjust the stroke, I suppose. Okay, where's my uh, blowfish? Okay, we'll go uh, a little bit on the floor for this one. We're gonna give this a little test, see if we're in the right direction. Let's just do this. Uh, ah, wait. Hey, oh. <laughs> woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Oop. Okay, we need to <laughs> we need to fix some stuff here, but I think we have it. 
So I cut the slot a little long, but that should be pretty good. Uh, it moves a little bit, but not a big deal. Oh, hello. Way around. Here we go. Here we go. Way around. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, cool. This nut right here is fitting okay, but it's a little loose and I don't want it to move around all the time. And so I want a little bit of friction. You know what I mean? Because this, this needs to go like that. Uh, and I, I don't like that it feels wobbly in the hand. Yep. Put this thing in my jig. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Make a
So it seems to work with this with this uh, setup and everything, but I have the feeling still that this uh, airbrush compressor is very is struggling. So I've decided I'm gonna get something that I wanted for a long time. I don't know why, but. Okay, look at this fancy display. Uh, turn it on. Wow. That's uh, still pretty loud. Okay, here we go. Let's see now. short stroke let's do something a little bit more heavy Okay. <laughs> yeah, baby. So conclusions, conclusions time. What do I think about it? Well, I cannot say anything about the real one because I never, never used one, and I cannot compare it to this. But uh, I'm not a hundred percent. I mean, you saw it does cut stuff, uh, and it's uh, it's pretty nice, but. Uh, the noise that it makes not the compressor yeah it makes noise okay but this this vibrating thingamajig um, is how should i put this i need my zen <laughs> i need my zen and i and i don't get it with with this it's anyway probably i would i would still use the hammer and chisel for the most part but uh, for things like stippling, this is like a king. It's super cool. It like makes millions of holes and really nice. So for the background, I, I will definitely use this. Anyway, um, check out the Patreon. Check out the new shop with the merchandise and the other stuff that I will link below. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, thank you very, thank you very much for watching. Mm-hmm.